so hello students in this video we will discuss uh, the different types of breeding okay that is plant breeding for disease resistance the second one is plant breeding for developing insect pest resistant plants and the plant breeding for developing plants with improved food quality okay and remember actually the main aim of a plant breeder is to develop the plants which will produce more yield or high productivity or high yielding varieties but uh, that high yield also depends on these three fact these uh, uh three factors means what first of all uh, the plant should be disease resistant okay then only it can withstand uh, uh, all uh, uh, the diseases that are caused by different uh, pathogens okay and one more thing uh, it the plants are attacked by different insects insect pests and uh, it should have that uh, uh, capacity to okay resist those insect pests then only this uh, loss will be okay minimized and uh, even if uh, uh, we are getting a good yield and if uh, uh, the quality is not uh, good and the quality is poor quality that is of no use so that's why improved food quality and in this video we will discuss uh, the first one which is uh, plant breeding for disease resistance plant breeding for disease resistance and what is uh, uh, the pathogen okay the organism which causes disease in other organism the organism that causes disease in other organism okay the organism that causes disease in other organism is called pathogen okay so here uh, the other organism is plant okay and uh, so the plant the other organism is called a host or you can say the organism which is infected by the pathogen is called host so remember even uh, uh, like uh, the human beings and the like uh, animals even plants are uh, 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 infected by different uh, uh, organisms or uh, different pathogens and these different pathogens include fungal pathogens and bacterial pathogens viruses okay and you know uh, rust of wheat okay uh, blight of uh, paddy uh, bacteria and uh, uh, this uh, tobacco mosaic disease there are vi viral diseases bacteria and fungi and uh, these pathogens will uh, cause a loss up to what 20 to 30% loss okay and uh, sometimes even this loss can be total or 100% loss that's why actually what we do is that we uh, whenever uh, we uh find some symptoms in the field we go for what uh, uh, these pesticides or uh, these uh, uh, fungicides bactericides and viricides but the thing is that these uh, uh, when you are using these fungicides bactericides and viricides okay so uh, that may cause some side effects that means these uh, uh, chemicals may pollute the soil 
or the chemicals may pollute the water and the chemicals even pollute our body means some residues of these chemicals will remain in the products and when we eat these products so our body will be okay affected that's why uh, what is the best method is to develop disease resistant varieties you know that uh, you know the quotation okay what is that quotation okay uh, yeah prevention is better than cure prevention is better than cure so uh, now let us see how uh, this uh, uh, disease will develop in a plant the development of disease in a plant depends on uh, interactions among the following factors means what uh, uh, this disease development will depend on interactions among uh, the following factors and what are those following factors that depends on the host genotype and that depends on uh, the pathogen genotype and also environment and generally these uh, diseases are very common uh, in the tropical countries means what uh, in tropical countries uh, the crops are uh, generally okay are affected by these pathogens so and remember only that we can't uh, change the genotype of a pathogen because uh, the genotype of pathogen will will go on a change uh, in uh, course of time that's why the host genotype okay can be altered or can be changed what is the host here the plant okay and uh, uh, we will uh, uh, cultivate the plants in a suitable environmental conditions so that's what uh, we have to do so that is what uh, the development of disease in a plant depends on interactions but uh, the thing is that we can't change the genotype of pathogen but we can change uh, the genotype of uh, the host so the host genotype may have an ability to prevent pathogen strain to produce disease so not all uh, plants the genotypes of uh, uh, some plants will have uh, this ability to prevent uh, the pathogen strain to produce disease okay such host lines are called uh, resistant host lines are resistant plants such host lines are called resistant uh, plants and this ability is called uh, resistance this ability is called resistance okay so now let us see the methods of breeding for disease resistance okay and there are uh, four methods by which uh, we can uh, incorporate this disease resistance in the, the cultivars or cultivated plants the first one is conventional methods so the conventional methods means the classical methods which are uh, selection and hybridization okay and generally the by these two methods uh, uh, the plants are developed by the plant breeder so that's why these are called uh, conventional methods and the mutations and soma clonal variants means what in tissue culture sometimes uh, some uh, plants which are uh, developed through tissue culture will show some variations and these variations are called soma clonal variations so th the desirable plants with disease resistance if uh, there is any disease resistance and such plants are selected here so that is what uh, soma clonal variants and in genetic engineering there is rdna technology or recombinant dna technology suppose we we know that some plants are having uh, disease resistance okay but uh, we cannot uh, go for artificial crossing so then uh, what can be uh, done 
in such cases. So we will uh, isolate the gene that is disease resistant gene from that plant and we incorporate that gene into this uh, cultivated plant. So that is uh, through genetic engineering. And uh, the mutations, of course, uh, the sudden uh, okay, inheritable okay, uh, discontinuous uh, variations are called mutations. And these mutations uh, uh, may occur uh, naturally and we call them about uh, spontaneous mutations. But these spontaneous muta mutations are very slow, means what very rarely they will occur. So that's why uh, sometimes these mutations may result in uh, disease resistance in some plants. That's why we go for uh, mutational breeding by using what some agents which will induce mutations. And the agents which will induce mutations are called mutagens. And of course, you know that these mutagens may be physical mutagens or chemical mutagens. So, gamma radiations, X rays, UV rays. So, uh, all these uh, are about physical mutagens. And uh, Kaumarin, okay, Colchicin, these are all about uh, chemical mutagens. So, that uh, is what mutations. So, by uh, using these different methods, the plant breeder has uh, uh, produced the different uh, uh, varieties which are having disease resistant and we will see the list of uh, the plants which are already developed and released into the market. So, these are the, the few examples. Uh, that we have achieved so far through conventional methods of plant breeding that is what hybridization and selection. So hybridization and selection are conventional methods of plant breeding and uh, through which they have uh, developed uh, different varieties under uh, these different crops. So the first one wheat and they have developed a variety called himgiri which is resistant to leaf and stipressed and hill burnt. And in Brassica, okay, and uh, they developed this variety, Pusa's for name, okay, Brassica is mustard, and in that they developed what Pusa's for name, which is also called as Karan Roy, and it is resistant to the disease by trust, okay, which is caused by Albigo Candida, right, and uh, when it comes to the cauliflower and uh, it will have this black rot and curl blight black rot disease and but uh, this variety is resistant to these uh, two diseases and uh, these two varieties were developed pusa shubra pusa snowball k1 like that uh, cowpea in cowpea so it is uh, uh, it gets generally this bacterial blight disease a bacterial disease and uh, but the variety which was developed by this IARI that is Indian Agriculture Research Institute Pusa Komal and remember wherever Pusa is there so uh, these varieties were developed by Indian Agriculture Research Institute so Pusa Komal and uh, when it comes to the chili so the variety which uh, they have developed is Pusa Sada Bahar and is resistant for chili mosaic virus, tobacco mosaic virus and leaf curl. And in a similar way in Bindi also they went for hybridization of the normal cultivated one. So the cultivated one is Abel Moscus esculentus and which is susceptible to yellow mosaic disease, a viral disease. And uh, uh, what they did is that they found that uh, a wild variety, okay, Abel Moscus manihot, which is not cultivated, which, uh, which is uh, growing in the, the forest and uh, it is not affected by this virus. That's why what they did, uh, they have crossed these two and they have, uh, they got one uh, variety and the variety is called Parbani Kranti. So, the Bindi variety, Parbani Kranti is uh, resistant to yellow mosaic virus. Like that, uh, these are uh, uh, few examples we are mentioning, but there are so many examples 
and you had memorized these uh, examples for uh, uh, examination point of view and now in the similar way so they have uh, uh, used mutagens is what uh, which uh, uh, caused mutations among the plants resulted in the mutations and uh, we call them as what induced mutations and uh, some examples uh, for those mutational achievements so the moon bean okay and uh, through these mutations okay it became resistant to yellow mosaic virus and a powdery mildew disease this is a fungal disease and this is viral disease and uh, already in green revolution we discussed that uh, some uh, semi dwarf wheat varieties were developed by dr borlog and they were introduced to india by m s swaminathan but uh, he uh, changed these uh, varieties because uh, these uh, sonora 64 and lerma rosa 64 they are uh, actually red grain uh, crop varieties red grain ones and uh, uh, one more thing uh, okay that's why what they did is that they made them uh, uh, amber grained through gamma radiations and once uh, uh, the variety was developed the name has been changed to sonora 64 became sherbati sonora and lerma rosa 64 became pusa lerma these are about uh, uh, mutant varieties so uh, that is about uh, this uh, um, plant breeding for disease resistance